And it is time for... Blinka, blinka, blinka. Python on hardware. Yes. Which is a popular hashtag from the event, which was just last week. That's why we're doing this broadcast. PyCon. PyCon was last week. Special thanks to DigiKey. They were able to help us get thousands and thousands and thousands of Circuit Playground Expo Express red DigiKey Python PyCon edition. Look at these. Looking cool. Each Beautiful one was red. Tested, yeah. We programmed each one with super special content, including some free book chapters. Yes. And some example code that people could work on and share. And with love. And with maybe love. Um, here they are as we double checked them, counted them. But how many? How how much did we have? Two later eight units. That's right. Two, laws. Two laws. Laws. And uh, where did they go? Well, they went to PyCon, and then this was the talk that Nina did that made all the rounds and all the places. Excellent presenter with live hardware demos. Here's some photos from the event. Look at her earrings. And more. Those are Python. I remember when we first saw her Python earrings. Python powered earrings. And she's still wearing them. The code from an earrings on GitHub, popular quote from her talk. They're looking cool. And uh, big hoops. Yep. Special thanks to our entire team who did sprints and workshops. You see Kat and Melissa here. More. Yep. This is the entire team. Scott, Brent, Dan, Nina, and Katney, Katney and Brian, Brian and Melissa. Melissa. All together there, you can see it was very crowded. Lots of people. Yes. we they, uh, Katney did a workshop slash talk at uh, Microsoft Booth. They yeah. were doing a lot of Python and Azure stuff. Yeah. And if uh, you're one of the folks there, or even if not, we have um, our new Pi badge coming out. Make Marissa made this on uh, her badge. And this then, was cool, this other badge. Yeah, and then people showed up with their own Pi portals, and they were doing projects on their own. They even, met, they even found each other. Hey, I, Yay, I have a Pi portal. I have a Pi portal. portal. You have a Pi portal. Yeah. We're Pi portaling together. So the other reason um, we're doing... Really having fun. The, the, <laughs> the other reason we're doing the Python on Hardware Newsletter... Uh, video version a little yeah, later. Yeah, why are we a little late? Well, it's because you were in Boston at the Red Hat Summit. You were also in Boston. We were both there. We were both there. I was carrying your bags. And, uh, it was like my porter? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was making sure you the talent got there. Okay, well. uh, but you uh, you won a community award um, in the Red Hat Summit uh, awards section. That's right. So congratulations. Not only you, Lady Ada, but everyone in the Adafruit community and everyone in the, in the community of Python together. There was a lot of folks that told us, oh, this is the first time I started doing Python. Circuit Python is why I got into it. And they, they let us know right there. So it, it was, was so much fun. It was good. Uh, Game Bueno is up to some uh, Circuit Python snakes its way to Game Bueno. That'll, yeah, that'll they, be the title. This, um, the Game Bueno meta went to SAMD21 uh, core processor, which we support in Circuit Python. It's not one of the fastest processors, but it does work. And what's interesting is that um, you know, the Game Wino Meta is actually an older board, and I guess lately the French government um, or the French educational system decided, hey, we're going to use Python to teach people programming. Yep. And so I think Game Wino, the team there, who they, it's made in France, I think they were smart. They're like, wait, you know, we can do Python in the Game Wino. There's going to be nationwide curriculum, and yeah. there's something that can run Python. They're going to they're gonna be putting CircuitPython on Game Wino. Speaking of, here's one of the books from France. This is the TI um, 83 premium calculator that happens to run CircuitPython. Uh -huh. um, here are some pages from it and then here it is running. They have an external device and then I heard there's another one coming out and they're also going to do TI Python which is a variant of CircuitPython. So things are looking good in the world of Python. Python especially. Python. Yeah, Python. Okay. Oh uh -huh. and for the game we know by the way there's the oh. guides that they have up. So yep. you can follow it now. If you have one of these boards, you go to their website. They actually have a couple tutorials already up there. I checked them out. One thing we're noticing, and uh, we'll have a crowd supply announcement soon. This is crow D supply. Yeah, we're going to. <laughs> I, I'm going to ask them. Can I make a little crow? Well, we have the crows. Yeah. So um, for crowd supply, we're going to be adding a Discord channel. We'll talk about that in upcoming shows and more. But I noticed the last few crowd supply newsletters I got, and crowd supply is um, one of the best ways for hardware makers to get their hardware out. They uh, have a 100% hardware delivered um, ratio, which is you really know, good. Which is impressive. And I like their motto, which is that they, they are looking for um, respectful hardware. Yeah. That's actually a really good cause. So a couple things I noticed in the newsletter, the top two things in the newsletter 
um, above the fold, as they say, that came in. I'm just like, oh, wow, both of those things run yep. CircuitPython in some way. So I think a lot of hardware makers are like, well, how do I get the most bang for my buck if I'm going to use certain chips and more? Well, CircuitPython. Actually, also the giant ones. board even comes with example code. Like, it comes to the libraries pre-installed. Yep. So very fancy. Uh, there is still more time to win one of five Adafruit Pi portals. Hackspace magazine. Hackspace. Subscribe. It's a great magazine. Yep. Tall Bell has the latest uh, maker update. You can check that out. Oh, um, cool. The features include uh, magnetic animatronics, photo frame with a dark side, conductive paper dragon, keyblades, Star Trek desk, and gaming with a Pi badge. Um, this good. is kind of cool. This is Circuit Python Display.io set up for a TFT Featherwing. Yep. If you've seen Display.io and you're like, wow, uh, I want to use that, and I want to use that on something that's on a Pi portal or a Pi badge where it's built in, like maybe you want to plug in a shield or a wing or a breakout. Um, Nick and Melissa wrote a really lovely guide on how to do that, how to set up the, you just have to tell it what pins to use. And what's neat is once you set it up, the next time when you soft reboot, it comes up with the REPL. So yeah. like, you know, even if it's not built in, you can get the REPL display. Um, and of course, any, you know, custom display you want on the dis uh, TFT. So it's very yep. fancy. Next up, this is Multisensors IoT Environmental Sensor Box with Circuit Python. This is a guide that will walk you through making an environmental monitoring device with GPS, temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and air quality sensors all updating to the cloud. Once built, this project takes readings and occasionally sends them to Adafruit I.O., stamped with the time and location. Yeah, right. this is an all-in-one Davis Dell's guide. I mean, it has everything yeah. in it. It has, like, air quality, pressure, humidity, temperature, GPS, yep. and it's all using the Metro Airlift. Yeah. So our new board that has Wi-Fi built in. In our newsletter, we also link to our upcoming newsletter, which is uh, Adafruit uh, IO Monthly. Mm. We have a blog post on that for May. We're currently up to 15,000 active users. We have over 700 IO Plus subscribers. Um, we always have a free version. We also have the Plus version. And check out all the different things that are going on. It's a lot of Python. Yeah. It's a lot of IoT. There's also a lot of Arduino for people who want to do that. And uh, Raspberry Pi and Linux. So it's not... It's got Python in it, so you probably are interested, but there's also some non-Python. Okay. Uh, more examples of stuff that we see flying around. This is Draw the Mendelbrot Fractal using CircuitPython. This is the Make Smart Things with Python. This is translated from French because they're doing a lot of Python. I think they did it with Display.io because they have the palette. Yeah, looks good, though. It is neat. That's a beautiful Mandelbrot. And this is James, who did a really neat thing with... Um, this is the FT, Python. Yeah, the yeah. FT8XX series, which was FTDI, and then I think they sold it to another company, or it was another company. I'm a little unclear. But these are TFT accelerators. It's a lot like the RA8875, which I've used. Basically, you send SPI commands, and it has fonts built in, and graphics. They can play videos, and like JPEGs and GIFs and stuff. So it's a hardware-accelerated uh, graphics interfaces chip. You know, you have to solder it onto the back of your display, but then you can use SPI. And he wrote a library in C Python for controlling it with his little like USB to serial converter board, the SPI board. And then I think he was like, "Well, I've got this Metro M4. Let's see what happens if I just try to run that Python code on Circuit Python." Guess what happened? Just worked. It just worked because yeah. Circuit Python is a strict subset of C Python, so a lot of C Python code will run on Circuit Python. And he had a little animated demo too, which is pretty yeah. cute. And James from X Camera Labs says this is a, a nice. A little quote about CircuitPython. This is a Python. quote. The CircuitPython development environment is brilliantly simple. You just copy the source files onto the 2 megabyte USB drive, and CircuitPython detects that they have changed, auto reloads them. This is so much easier than Arduino, and it's even easier with micro. It's even easier than MicroPython itself, which, as far as I know, doesn't support auto reload. So, yep, that is true. More coming from him soon. Okay, uh, Dave's video from a while ago got posted. This is at PyCon Canada. Um, this is Dave talking about CircuitPython and all the hardware that makes it work. Yes. Then we get some high praise. This is from one of our uh, favorite Twitch broadcasters. This Look is cool Jessica, Medi, Meta Dev Girl, uh, unboxing and review of the Circuit Playground Express featuring Circuit. Yeah, Python. she's a web dev and she does JavaScript and Python at yep. work. The programmer, a uh, software engineer at work. And uh, so she wants to try some hardware projects as well. So. She's picked up some hardware, and I think she'll have a lot of fun with the Circuit Playground, especially yeah. in Circuit Python. Then we posted up some slides. This is a presentation of MicroPython uh, during the 16th annual Linux seminar by Jacques. Uh, he's a professor, and there's slides and more for that. We have it's not out yet. A couple things. This is one of the um, airlift feather wings. Yep, it's coming soon. So. 
if you liked um, airlift on the Pi portal and you maybe like the Metro airlift and you're like, well, I want to add Wi-Fi to one of my feathers, um, we're coming out with an airlift Wi-Fi feather wing yeah. that uh, over FPI and a couple extra pins will let you um, add Wi-Fi capabilities. It does use a bunch of pins because it needs to have uh, ESP reset, chip select, and busy. Um, but that's not too bad. And then um, we also have a crypto chip on there. And I tested it out with all of our boards. So it definitely works in Arduino great and it'll work in CircuitPython as well. So until we get um, a Feather M4 airlift going, this is a good alternative. Okay, here's a preview of the Silk that's on the Pi Gamer. We'll have yeah, really fancy. Yeah, yeah. Nice work, Phil B. Uh, we hit 12,000 members on Discord. Thank you very much, everybody. Join us over there. We'll be having um, a little bit of an event this week with um, CrowdSupply. So stay tuned for that. We're up to 155 libraries and more. We also have a new library section on circuitpython.org. You can keep up with all of this stuff and then some in Awesome Circuit Python, which is linked on circuitpython.org. And that is the Python news of the week, Lady Ada. This is your moment of blinka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs>